Hello my friends and welcome back to the Long Dark Experiment on our quest to survive for 500 days on interloper difficulty with a bit of a twist. This is episode 39. Let's go ahead and resume our game. Okay, currently we are in Pleasant Valley. We're in the Bear Cave. Uh, pretty close to the mine. Uh, we did just get a bear from the previous episode. Uh, got them all harvested up and everything. There's just one thing for us to do before we head out towards Timberwolf Mountain, and that is to document our kill here. I want to go to our journal and leave a note here under Pleasant Valley. Um, let's see, where'd you go? Pleasant Valley, Thompson's Crossing. Okay, we're going to create a new entry here. Bear Cave by Mine, Thompson's Crossing area, one bear, skin, lots of guts, lots of meat. Nice. If I don't do that, I know I'm going to forget this is here. Pick up our loot and get a bite to eat. How much water do we have? We probably need both of these. Okay, let's eat some of this food. All right, there we go. We'll leave all these other things curing. Um, I, I'm curious if I can um, if we can map while we're warm in here. Let's try it. Okay, nice. Not it's not real good, but let's see, we got six charcoal. I'm gonna drop some of these. We don't need six charcoal. I like to have about two pieces of charcoal. All right, uh, I think we're good to go. Get a bit of a drink. Now I'm thinking the temperature might be a little cold. It might be too cold, actually. I'll have to take a look here. Yeah, we got three arrows going down. Visibility is nice, though. Uh, I might travel on foot for as long as we're able to uh, without getting too cold. Pick up some sticks and things. Uh, we're nice and lightweight. This is uh, ideal. Got good visibility. Uh, no wind. So in fact, I might... Let's just get a torch. If I do encounter a wolf, I, I don't think I'd rather use a torch than uh, try to shoot him. And there's a wolf. Speaking of, speaking of wolves, there's one right over there. Kind of try to stay away from him. Probably already sees us. Oh, I got scared. Maybe he remembers us from last night. I don't know. It's like we do have a deer up ahead. Ah, uh, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to mess with the deer. Maybe if I had the wolf following me, I might try to get him to go after the deer. Well, we got all that bear meat. So I believe that's the road to get up to the mine we're passing right now. And there's a good chance we're going to walk right into a wolf. I have seen wolves on this road. Gotta warm up somehow. There's a car not too far from here that uh, maybe we could stop, make a fire, and get warm. 
Um, I did take a lot of cold damage in the last episode, and we didn't sleep very well last night because I was afraid of the cold. It's a goddamn freezing. So maybe I will. Uh, see, let's see if we can get a free fire. Oh, well, of course the wind starts right as I say that. I'm gonna head over to the the wall here. See if we can get some wind protection and possibly get a fire. I think the sun may have gone behind a cloud as well. Yeah, I can't get a free fire. Um, let's use a match. Seems like a pretty good place for a fire. It's mostly protected. Getting pretty low on fire starting equipment here, though. Uh, fire. Sticks and things. I might have to use a piece of coal or our book. We really just need to warm up some tea, I think. Oh, day. Could use our book. Drop some tea. Seven minutes. Man, it is cold. I did pick an early time of the morning to set out, so it's kind of my fault. Let's drink some birch bark tea. We can regain some health as we go. These are not very good torches. gonna blow out anyway. Oh whoops, picked that up too soon. Oh well. And there goes our torch. So there's usually a wolf in this area. Keep your eyes out. Oh, it is way cold. That tea really didn't help us much. We do have some rabbits. And there's a cave. Okay. We could go to the cave and warm up. I still do need to craft up some more... Uh, Fire hardened arrows. Oh, how did I miss him? I must have just gone like right over his his head, right between the two big ears. Kind of hard when they're moving sideways. Oh my gosh. This is our last arrow. I think it's easier when they're coming right at you. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um, I am out of rocks, actually. Looks like we're gonna be using one of our good arrows. This is ridiculous, guys. Okay, that uh, that rabbit deserves to live. I'm not going to question it. We're not particularly hungry either. Super bunny.
Don't think this is a bear cave. I think it's just a warming up spot for us. Get some of these rocks. Going from one cave to another. Just kind of leapfrogging our way up the mountain. Uh, I don't suppose... Oh, it is still warm. All right, let's drink another one then. We may not even have to make a fire here if we just wait a little bit. Let's research for an hour. All right. Let's see what the weather's like. Still pretty cold. These teas aren't going to help us much. It's so cold. Suppose I could just spend time in the cave. That's probably not a bad idea. Um, our next stop is kind of far from here. So I guess it's not too far. Goodbye, rabbit. Good luck. I bet the rabbit killed the wolf. I bet that's what happened. We couldn't find the wolf because the rabbit killed it. One very tough, tough rabbit. Arrows bounce right off of him. He did one of those matrix moves when my arrow went between his ears. He like slow motion, you know, dodged dodged an arrow. Stop and check the car. I doubt there's anything here, but may as well. Hey, we got a book. Nice. Gunsmithing. You know it's cold out when she starts swearing. I can't feel my hands. There are some little houses up here uh, with stoves. Possibly try to get a fire going in one of these houses. Oh no, the wind's like right in my face. That's just the worst. It's too cold. There's a house right there. I think there might be a stove there. Grab some of these sticks, make a fire. We could possibly even use the sun. I'm running into the wind, that's gonna really tire us out. Every stick is going to give us just a little bit more warmth. I'm gonna head over there and get a fire started. Oh. 
Well, let us start a fire uh, with the maglins. No. Possibly right here, though. Let's see. Nope. All right. There's a torch. Might have to use a piece of coal. We'll have to see how cold it is. Perfect. Okay, temperature, negative nine. We should be warming up, there we go. Super cold. This will come in handy. 83% can. Yeah, I'm really not warming up. I think I need to put a piece of coal on. Nice, we got three, uh, three arrows going up now. It's a big help. Drink a tea. Well, I think with all the tea that we've been drinking, we haven't had much problem with the uh, nobody needs this anymore. Vitamin C deficiency. Seems like we're about due for a blizzard. About this time every day, seems like there's a blizzard. an hour. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Hey, rifle firearm. Uh how did I level that up? Oh, I was reading. That's right. I just close the menu. That's right. Okay, so this one is done. Research complete. Uh we just need to maybe warm up some tea and then we can head out. Okay, what kind of tea do we have now? 
I'll drop all these reishi teas and a couple of rose hip teas. I think I'll put the reishi teas in our thermos and uh, I'll drink I'll drink one of the rose hip teas. Lots of torches. I'm going to drop these in the road. Okay, let's uh, put the reishi teas in our thermos. I'll drink one of these. Okay, thank you, little stove. I'm gonna drop all these torches here. Those are some pretty good torches. Take some of those with us. Hey, we got a bear, guys. He's walking away. I'm just gonna let him be, I think. I don't know, what do you think, guys? Should we, should we try it? We could possibly get him to follow us. Oh, I think he sees us now. might turn away if we get far enough away. It's turning away. If we do take a shot at him, I want him to be a lot closer to his den. We're pretty far away. Try to walk over here. We could beat him to his den and just wait for him to come back. Yeah, we should be passing him. Back up a little bit, just in case. Yeah, he's way over there. Don't know if he'll see us or not. I can hear you. Okay, let's crouch down. I'm going to switch torches now. We drop the torch from our inventory like that, it should be pretty quiet.
Oh, there. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I thought I saw another stick. Okay, so here's the bear den. He's slowly getting here. Um, Make a fire. Might be too steep here. Alright, I guess we'll have to go for the den. I'm going to go inside and drop some of our loot, I guess. I don't have a lot of time, but I do have some time. Get over by the bear. There he is. Got our good bow out. Wait for him to stand up. I thought he'd be close enough. That was a headshot, though. That was a headshot. I thought he'd, uh... Ah, man. Still trying to figure out the bear mechanics. Stay by the fire. So yeah, I jumped the gun on that. I should have waited for him to rear up, but he was just getting so close. I thought maybe he's not going to rear up. I'm going to move the fire inside. That's that's why I'm taking all these torches. Just move the fire inside. We got the wood inside. Um, so this should be bear number six, I think. Let's go inside and get warm. Yeah, I was really hoping to get at least two shots on him. Let me find the outdoor, the outer edge. There's the outer edge right there. Try it again. Come on, little fire. Weather's starting to turn bad. I can hear it. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, we're on the warm side now. Um, We do have some wood here. Let's check our check our stats. Bears killed five. So this is bear number six. Let's sit by the fire and wait for uh, for that bear. Guys, this reminds me, sitting here by the fire here in the bear den, reminds me of the story of old Ember. It's uh, one of the notorious bears of Great Bear Island. Ember the bear. People don't like to talk about her very much. Um, Ember was one of the most unique bears here at Great Bear Island. You know, most of the bears kind of have their own little territory they stick to, but old ember she she would ramble from area to area territory to territory and she was big she was she was the mama bear she was she was a big mama and uh, she got her name because folks would be sitting by their campfire just like this and without a sound they'd look up look around and there would be two glowing red eyes in the shadows. That was old Ember. For the most part, she left people alone. But I think uh, when the auroras started, that's when she kind of went crazy and really started causing trouble for people. And uh, you know what? The, the town of uh, of Milton in Mountain Town used to have a saloon used to have a saloon in there and old ember wandered in there one day or one night it was it was a it was a very late dark night with a blizzard she wandered in there like it was it was her saloon and just uh man that was that was a massacre she just massacred the inhabitants that were uh, in that saloon and in the process, knocked over a lantern and just burned that place down to the ground. It is gone, like completely, completely destroyed. But uh, in the process, um, she she really angered. Of course, the townspeople were out to get her, and so they uh, they formed a mob and uh, tracked her and surrounded her and uh, and killed her. But that wasn't the end of Ember, guys. She, I think she's still very much a part of this map. She shows up all over the place. Like, she, she gets in everything. And, uh, you know, people people kind of blame stuff on her. Say it's old Ember. It got so bad that, uh, you know that church in the town of Milton? I think it's St. Christopher's Church. The, the priest there was asked to do an exorcism to try to get rid of her. And uh, managed to, to banish her out of the church. So I think I think the church, St. Saint Christopher's Church, is supposedly the only place where you can be safe from the effects of Old Ember. That's what they say. But anytime you're outside of that church, you know, Old Ember, you could you could look up and see a couple a couple red eyes in the shadows or hear hear a strange noise in the nighttime or this whole island is just full of strange things like that you know it's almost like a twilight zone strange strange things happen on great bear island and old ember boy she's she's just one of them let's see if our if our friend has passed on yet Bears killed a six. Hopefully he's not too far. Oh, 
I'm guessing it's probably down the road. What time is it? Ooh, it's getting late. We might be doing good just to spot the bear and then uh, seek shelter maybe. I want to see if he's down here. Feels like I'm crouched for some reason. I think that's the bear right there, guys. Let's go get our arrow. I don't have much hope of uh, butchering him up tonight. This blizzard coming in. Hey, bear. I'm glad he didn't go very far, didn't suffer very long. It's another one of those mysteries of Grey Bear Island right there, guys. This is a very, very special, magical kind of place. A very, very strange things happen. Did I say um, I gold? Because I really do. I might try. I might try to butcher him. Either way, I need a fire. Um, stay warm. Come on, little fire. Come on. It's good we got that cave right by us. We can fall back. Can you hear the wolves out tonight? Come on, little fire! It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. Oh, lucky day. Okay, it's worth a shot, right? Let's put some reclaimed wood on, add a coal. Should be warm here pretty quick. A quarter of the bear, two hours any way you look at it. Let's make sure we have two hours on the fire. Yeah, we do, we're good. Let's go. Uh, sounds like I boiled off our water. That's fine. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm actually happy about that. We got the bear quartered. Managed to get the hide and the guts and the meat, all that good stuff. Um, probably need a tea. Let's drop one of our teas here. Sure I can carry much more. You know, as long as this fire's going, we've got 43 minutes. Um, I could just stay here by the fire and try to harvest this. It's going to make our load just a little bit lighter. The only problem is the, uh, if, the if the weather shifts, temperature and the wind shift. Twenty four minutes. Okay, let's drop this meat. Um, now I'm going to warm up a tea. And that meat we just dropped, I can just leave it. We can just leave it right there. Uh, let's drop a birch bark, why not? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, one, two, three, four, five bags and some guts. We can leave this meat here. It's not gonna hurt anything to leave the meat cooking. You can see our pretty big pieces. And I'm out of sticks. Okay, we're warming up. Um, let's take what we can. That's probably about what we can. Too many torches. I'm gonna drop these. I wonder if those wolves would get close to a fire like that. If you drop a, a uh, what are those called? The decoys? If you drop a decoy right by the fire, I wonder if a wolf would try to go for it. I think I picked up the bear hide, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Oh, we're going to sleep well tonight. Super tired. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. It's a little bit farther away than I would have liked. Of course, we are super tired. It's uh, making us walk slow. You know, another thing I could do is uh, could take a little bit of a gamble, put some more coal on the fire, and just keep harvesting all that meat right there. I might do that. Okay, I think I'll let the torch burn out, guys. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe I will sleep. Um. Trees. Guess I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat a tree. Yeah, I think I might wait on those. Let's do. Let's sleep a little bit. Sleep for five hours. I need a horse. Okay, looks like we survived part of the night. Definitely need to eat up. Let's get some food. Um, I'll eat. I'll eat some cattails. I'm hoping that meat is done. 
uh, back over at the, at the bear. Oh, it was so dark. Um, trying to decide if I want to harvest these or just go get the meat. I think I should probably go eat, huh? Um, is there anything else I can drop? Oh, the bear hide. Of course. Of course I forgot to drop the bear hide. Um, now I'm losing my weight. Okay, there we go. Okay, we dropped the bear hide. Um, I mean, I could drop our low-quality bow and a book. So last night I was talking about uh, Ember the Bear. Really, guys, I should have been making up a story about uh, Buddy the Bulletproof Bunny that broke every single fire-hardened arrow that you shot at him. But that is one tough rabbit. One of the only rabbits in the entire map that, uh, that can kill a wolf with one bite. Buddy the bulletproof, bulletproof Bunny. Let's go check on our meat. Beautiful night. Uh, where's our fire? That way down here, there it is. It was pretty far. Looking forward to getting a good night's sleep one of these nights where we can sleep 10 hours again, regain some help. All right, I really hope this meat is done. Cooked. Thank goodness. Just what we needed. Fill this right up. Okay, I've got three bags. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. It's gonna be too much. It's a little better. Taking damage again. I guess I should probably make another fire. I just don't have a whole lot of wood. Too heavy to run. Buddy the Bulletproof Bunny, and you know, he uh, he appeared in Monty Python, Search for the Holy Grail. He had a cameo in that, if you've ever seen that. Bring out the Holy Hand Grenade. Guys, uh, I think I'll stop and butcher some of this meat to warm up in the cave once we get there. I've mentioned it before, but I really do like having these little caches of meat throughout the map and having things curing, especially the guts, you know, getting some guts curing all around the map, but it's pretty nice. It's awfully dark though. Get to the back here where it's nice and warm, drop our meat and the guts, all right. 
Let's use our hacksaw. Let's see if we can warm up. Just barely. Just barely warming up. I'm really glad that meat was cooked. Um, it's giving us a lot of energy. Sun's coming up too. That's good. Hopefully it will start warming up now. Uh, ooh, we're actually cold now, guys. Uh, we are cold. I'm going to put our sleeping bag down. Make sure I have a drink. I'll sleep for three hours. Okay, survive 73 days, three hours, 40 minutes. And we're nice and warm. Uh, I think I might go get some of that meat. Let's go get the meat. Beautiful day. Awfully cold, but beautiful. I can hear the crows. I wonder what those crows are on about. Got a wolf. He hasn't seen us yet. Could see if we can get a fire started with the mag lens. Yeah, we can. Uh, looks like I might have to use a torch though. Nice job, Astrid. All right, let's go scare him off. I can't feel my feet. Hey, Wolfie. completely out of sticks which means my only fuel really is the, the coal Harvest this up. I'll get a fire going. We'll put a piece of coal on. Get warmed up. And hopefully that coal will be warm enough so we can um, stay by the fire here. Okay, I've got a, what, an hour? We still not warming up? Oh, I'm gonna cancel. That's not gonna work. Two pieces of coal. Two pieces of coal and we finally have some, some warmth. Oh, that is crazy. OK, 
Okay, the meat is all harvested. Well, at least on this end, we do have some back at the cave. Too small. Read for an hour. Too small. There we go. Well, I don't think our cabin fever is going to be troubling us anytime soon. Thirty-nine minutes. I think we can still read a chapter. Oh, it's, it's done. Nice. Okay. In that case, let's see how many torches we have. To, uh, I'm going to harvest this. If I get enough torches harvested, we could uh, craft some fire-hardened arrows. On the other hand, I do pretty much just need torches right now. Okay, let's take these guts. Cooked meat. Oh, there's torches right there. They're right behind me. Didn't see them. 26 minutes, okay. I thought I'd put them in the road. get some sticks harvested from these torches and then I can actually craft some fire hardened arrows That should be good. See how much time is left on our fire. 17 minutes. Fire hardened arrow is going to take 45 minutes. That one's too big. Oh well, we'll try it. Okay, let's try crafting these. Uh, 45 minutes. We got 40 on the fire. I do need five sticks. Let's try it. Oh, I don't have enough time. But we did finish our book, right? Okay, that worked. Twenty nine minutes with a knife. All right, let's do it. Okay, good. I feel a lot better having those fire hardened uh, arrows. Nineteen minutes. We'll leave a piece of meat for future Astrid. I can carry much more. All right. And we're even lightweight enough, we can put a little jog in our step. Try to beat this weather.
If we had enough firewood, I wouldn't actually mind trying to get that deer hide on the other side of the hill. Boy, the wind is really slowing us down here. Uh, but I think I'll just leave it. Okay, let's drop all these guts and meat. Fresh gut. We can drop the meat right here. Um, I probably should get a fire going. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a stick. Hurry and burn out. There we go. Now we can use that. I'd like to make a push for the, Come on, uh, oh, what is that? Prepper's cache. I'd really like to make a push and try to get over there. Sounds like the weather may not be cooperating, oh, yeah. though. That's a good one. Uh, I'm going to go for it. Let's use a piece of coal. Okay, I need to get some sticks. And a drink. Maybe by the time we're done, this uh, storm will have lifted. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, okay, let's harvest these sticks up. Sounds like quite a storm. We could craft some more fire hardened arrows. See how long it will take. We've got six sticks. Okay, good. Let's go for it. Okay, how's our meat looking? Six minutes? Worked out pretty well. Get a couple more sticks. I think we're good. Just a matter of this uh, the storm out there. I'm going to harvest up these broken arrows. Let's check on the meat. I do have to harvest these. That's right, before we go, I do have to harvest those. That's probably what I should be doing. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. That's what I was doing. Might be enough. Okay, um, harvesting the meat. That's right, let's harvest the meat. I don't think that's going to be enough time, guys. 30. 
Let's add one more stick. Be nice if the storm lets up. Gives us a window to get out of here. Fire should be going out here any second now. There it goes. Okay. Um, I think I want to move the meat outside. the meat outside the bear cave. Now I'll put the raw meat over here. There we go. Uh, this way. And I'm going to take a couple of these to eat. The storm never did let up, so probably means my torch is going to just fizzle out. Don't really want to keep it going. Okay, we'll leave a note here. Let's put our torch out. Simple arrow, 10%. Okay, we got at least one more shot out of that one. We'll harvest up this torch to get a stick. And I think we're out of books, right? Oh, we do have a book. Gunsmithing or small arms. Let's, uh, let's do an hour. Let's see if we can get this storm to pass. Don't get thirsty, don't get thirsty, don't get... There's the, did we make it? We made it. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's read one more hour. Hopefully this storm will pass. Be nice if I could read in our sleeping bag, because we're just barely, barely warm. too dark to read. Well, of course it is. Um, black bear hide. Let's leave a note that this is here. Let's see. Coastal Highway. Just, uh, here we go. Bear Cave by Prepper's Cache by, let's see. Let's put a bear cave by um, Timberwolf Mountain Rope. So we have one bear hide and lots of guts and lots of meat. Okay.
Okay, I'm just gonna sleep then. Sleep an hour. Sleep another hour. Still going. It's quite a storm. We might be here all night, guys. Let's do two hours. Get a drink. Two more hours. There it goes. Finally. I would hate to be stuck out in that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the bear pelt here. Leave the guts here. We picked up all of our gear. Um, I might, uh, might take some meat. I don't know. I definitely want to eat. Did leave some meat in there. That's fine. Let's, just, let's at least make sure our belly's full. Because there are going to be some wolves. Um, it would be nice to bring some of this meat with us. Yeah, I think I'm going to take some meat with us. Not that one, though. That's a small piece. We're smelly. We're not super heavy. We're definitely going to be running into wolves. There's no wind. I'm just going to light this as soon as we get to the road. So we are going to run into wolves. Let's use one of the cheap torches. Uh, I guess they're all pretty good, actually. Well, guys, I'm looking forward to sleeping a whole night in the uh, prepper's cache. It's going to be so nice. I know. It's freezing, freezing cold. We're taking damage. I hear you, ptarmigans. Ptarmigan. Don't need any feathers. Don't need any meat. Hey, Wolfie. We're just talking about you. Okay, he went the wrong way. But if he gets behind us, um, we should be okay. Of course, he's not behind us. Alright, come on. Go the other way. Let's see if I can get ahead of him. Okay, we're we're ahead of you now. You can follow along if you like. Here's the crash site. I'm not gonna stay and loot it, we're just going.
Okay, we're almost there. Alright guys, it's straight up ahead on the hill. Not far to go. Hopefully the wind doesn't uh, cause us a problem. Okay, which way? That that's it right there. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, and we got some lag. Well guys, if we make it safely up there, then that's where we're gonna call it an episode. So we managed to uh, make a little bit of progress across the map. Here's our launching point for Timberwolf Mountain. And uh Got a bunch of meat as well. All right, got the bear hide carrying. Thank you so much for coming along with me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Love to hear from you. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you think, or feedback, or tips, or tricks, or uh, anything like that. Uh, or if you'd rather, you could just leave a thumbs up. But most importantly, guys, I do hope to catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thank you.